Alright, so we're back. This is nothing drastic. It's just going to be build log part 4, update part 4. So basically, to put this in frame. So this is the case, as you know. Uh, there's only one con, I would say. When you take these panels off the top, it very cheaply will have the mesh panels just fall off. And unfortunately, you can't air freight or air freight a case like this with the magnets. So I ordered. Uh, I'll have to look up what the magnet name is called, but they're basically just four millimeter by three millimeter magnets. So in circumference, it's four millimeters, and in depth, it's about three millimeters. So I'll take this off and I'll show you. All right, so the screws are out. We'll put these on top of my surface. Now I'll take the top panel off, it comes off gently. No scratches, nothing, it's perfect. And now you see, side panels fall off. So I'm gonna put this one here because I don't wanna scratch my monitor on my keyboard. And this is the end with my AIO. Uh, the tubing is different, I'll, I'll show it. It's obviously not custom loop level clean. It's not causing any additional pressure onto the side panel. So I was happy with that, but as you could tell, this is less than ideal. But if you look from the side, so one second, if you look at it from this angle, you can see that it's not putting pressure on the side panel, you see that? So it's like a little bit, but th these aren't the AIO tubes like last time, it's just the fan splitter. So you see that? That's just a fan splitter, so it's not that big a deal. Um, I think somebody asked a question two days ago or this morning about how can I wrap the tubes if I have big RAM? Well, technically if you have big RAM, uh, hold on. So technically if you have big RAM, uh, what I was saying is you route the tubing along this way, right? And right now you can say I have small RAM, but if it routes above it, like it is right now in my tubing, um, maybe the first tube over here will interfere. But if you can, uh, you know, just put it barely at the edge and then twist it so they're both aligned like this, I mean, you can see like how much room. That's definitely... I don't know if my finger is 20 millimeters, but yeah, you could route it like that. And then um, using just a piece of a Velcro, they're basically cable ties. They're like Velcro zip ties. Uh, they're reusable. I think a pack of a hundred is like $5. So it's a lot more eco and you don't have to waste that money, that much money on zip ties. So they're nice. Um, if you want to do cable management. Anyway, the point of this, uh, also somebody told me that the this power, the nut is supposed to be on the inside and not actually on the outside. So I'm probably gonna have to do that again. Let's see. Now that's on their type. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I, I do see that now. This is flush and then this one's sticking mm -hmm. out. Oh well. I can fix that later, but the point of this is to mainly show the magnets. So let's zoom out. Actually, zoom in. So right here is the four millimeter by three millimeter magnet hole, and it's on the same thing on the same side. Same thing on the other side. All right. So I ordered these. The audium. I'll have to look up the name, I really don't remember. I just remember it was like NEO and then DY something IUM. And this is them. Uh, they are very small. This is actually a pack of 50. It, it may not look like 50, but it is 50. So you only need four. I think there's a guy on eBay selling 100 of these in black for I think sixteen dollars, uh, something like that. It was a lot of money. I mean, 
you only need four. So once again, so you can see how small four are. I'll zoom in my hand. It's it's really small. They're like I said, four millimeter in circumference, and then the the width, the thickness, if you will, is three millimeters. So somebody said you can attach it with double sided tape to the side and then hold it in place up there but I'm just going to see if magnets work because if magnets do work that makes it a lot easier good news they don't stick at all they don't stick at all it sticks onto the screw over here but I need it to go in the corner looks like I'm definitely going to have to use a uh, double sided tape. Alright, let's see if it sticks to the side panel at least. Alright, so the good news is it does completely stick to the mesh side panel. Let's try the other end. Alright, so both ends stick onto the mesh side panel, so that doesn't matter. Now it's just a matter of I actually do have to double side tape magnet here. I think there was a post on Reddit where somebody actually put these magnets and then uh, double sided tape with magnets on top and he cut it out to fit perfectly in the holes. So then you have this magnet connecting on these double sided tape sticky magnets and then you know magnet on magnet and then it holds. So that's nice. Um, I think of an, about 8 or 16 hours from that post all of the magnets that he linked on Amazon were completely sold out which is pretty funny because the price was more than it should be um, besides that the sticky pad magnet thing that I just said from Amazon is still in stock but I just wanted to see if it was possible with the magnets because if, it, if this is aluminum right stick on there but it's not so I'll use the double sided tape and be back good news I found some double sided tape and uh, I don't have an exacto knife because I, I broke it a few years ago so I have a box cutter uh, I just have to cut you know a sticky pad I mean double sided piece of tape that big I hopefully I don't cut myself all right so I just want to emphasize I did not do a perfect job it's literally just, anybody can do this with a box cutter, it's just, you know, the magnet and then I cut uh, a piece of tape just big, come on, just big enough for it to, you know, stick there. So I'll show you what it looks like, end result. That's what it looks like, literally just the magnet, some tape big enough for the cutout, and that's pretty much it. If it falls, it's mainly because how many attempts it took to cut it. And I can do it again. It was just trying to guess a proper size and sticking it in that slot. So now I'm going to do the other three sides. Okay, so this is the opposite side with the magnet hole. Um, like, like I said, the cutout for the tape is not perfect. Anybody could do this. And that's the magnet. Honestly, it's, it's stuck on pretty good. So I'm just got to put the side panels on on the other side over here somewhere around there and then I'll show you how it works all right so this is the offset Ugh, this is off topic but honestly you have two quarter thread you know mounts here essentially like cutouts I could have a rad here for a custom loop and an inlet and an outlet port to, you know, an XSPC uh, 480 millimeter TX rad, or I could have a, I don't know, the Mora 3, but that's possible. I wouldn't need a bigger case. I mean, obviously, it'd be unbearably loud, uh, or my temps would be pretty hot, depending on how hot my parts were just running off a single 240 rad but when you're at home or at your desk you know I could run it like this honestly 
If I was going to take my case with me, and then I only had to select the undervolt option for my GPU, because that's probably the thing that will be the hot, you know, 300 whatever watt GPU is coming, right? Um, CPU, a Ryzen 4000 8 core probably only use like 100 watts. I mean, if it's playing games, like, uh, maybe like 80, 100 watts, I don't know. When, when you're doing like video editing or even just rendering, it doesn't really use like the max power draw it would use in like MSI Combustor. I mean, Heaven's Engine doesn't even go to the max. Uh, mm, mm. It's an option, it's an option. With my Ghost, I wouldn't have been able to do this. I don't want to... I don't even have tools to do that. I have a Dremel, but I, I don't have tools to make a cutout like this perfectly. So it's an option. It's an option. Back to the, you know, magnets. Quick update. I took out the power button and I'm going to seat it properly. So thank you to, uh, you know, the guy who said that I did it wrong. All right, we're back. Power button is in properly. And I didn't realize, but... Yeah, that's how it's supposed to look like in the images, and it feels a lot nicer. It feels great, actually. So, yeah, that's the correct way to do it. Gonna go back to putting the magnets onto the longer side. Alright, we're back, and uh, got the magnets. Got the magnets on all sides, so we'll, we'll just zoom in. There you go, double sided tape, little magnet. There you go again, double sided tape, little magnet. Other side, double sided tape, little magnet, and one second. Double sided tape, little magnet. So now I'll show you, you know, this is the moment of truth. Side panel, you drop it in the place like this. And then just, look at that, it's just like the Ghost S1. Now, let's do the other side. Alright, ready? You take your mesh side panel, slide it into place, and then watch. Okay, that one, um, I do have to put a little bit of pressure because of the tubing on it. Because remember, it puts pressure on the side, so, um, hmm. one second. Once I get a different motherboard, this won't be big that big of an issue. It's just that on the Z390 Phantom, the VRM sticks out a bit. Um, I'm not going to need this big of a VRM, or maybe it just it'll be like a thicker integrated I.O. shield on... Uh, Rise, uh, my bad. The X670 or X590, whatever they name them. I'm not buying an X570 mainly because I want a motherboard with two heat sinks on the front for them NVMe drives. And if there's a 40 millimeter chipset fan, it's not that big a deal. I just, I just want my NVMe drives within. The warranty temperatures. I don't want ADC on my controller. I want 70C or below. Um, just not ADC. So if your warranty allows 70C, 70C. Like I don't want to see 71. So 60 to 70, yeah, it's fine, but not not above. Um, CPU. Honestly, ADC on load is fine. Um, 90C. It won't last as long, but it's still okay. Uh, I mean, technically, you can have a hundred C on, you know, Intel Burn Test or Prime ninety five. It's just, I mean, like real low day to day. You don't want that, you know. You want eighty C on load, like all the times nice. I mean, when you're playing games, seventy C nice. Honestly, eighty C playing games is fine too. But stress test hitting ninety C is it's okay. I mean, this is just unreasonable, you know, trying to overclock a 9900k 5 gigahertz on like a 240mm AIO, just, it's just unreasonable. But, 
you know, maybe things will change with Zen 3 and if it ever comes out. So, uh, hopefully November rolls around soon, that comes out closer, or sooner. Really quick, I do want to emphasize the point that because of the pressure on the, the AO tubing pushing it off, you do see that it's holding it, and then it flicks it off slowly. So even though it's, you know, double-sided tape is holding onto the actual frame of the case, right? That still seems to be enough to hold the magnets in place, and then even with the mesh side panel pulling on this, it's still holding, you know? So that's, that's good. Um, now we're just going to slide on this front panel. And let's close this up. Alright, one sec. Definitely has to be doing something wrong because this is not going on cleanly. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. Did I mess up? No, no, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, okay. I was a little worried there. I thought I put magnet holes where this top panel was supposed to close onto it. Um but yeah, if you look at it, it's on. I'm not I'm not putting any additional pressure. Um you did see that there are screws holding the fans in place. Uh how much do you hate the black top with the cream fans with the screws? Uh, I have no idea, but Chromex probably. Uh, for anybody who gets black, you know. Just get three Chromex slim fans, you know, make your life easy. Um, as you can see, side panels, they don't rattle. I mean, there's a little bit of a ping, but it's it's not like, you know, before where, it, you know, it actually rattled. So that's nice. We'll check the other side out. It's just a little bit. It's, it's not a lot. It's, it's fine. And now, uh, we'll just screw it in. So put this in. You don't have to screw it in, you know, with like an actual screwdriver, but you can if you want. For my ghost, I never used to screw in the side panels or the top panel, mainly because if I brought it to a friend's house or something, then I could just take it off and show them inside the case, and it was nice to slide it off. Um, honestly, with the same thing, I mean, I could just unscrew the two screws on the back by hand, and then you simply just, you know, take the panels off and you show them the case. So it's, it's pretty cool that you can have, you know, a real computer, like a real enthusiast computer in something this small. Uh, coming from a Corsair Air 540, it's honestly amazing um, that you can have something like this because three or four years ago um, PC cases were ugly uh, I used to have a 900D and I needed a friend to help me move it into my room and I had a friend come and take it because I just refused to sell it on Craigslist because that was a $300 case and that thing was like 60 pounds with no PC in it, I think, or like 50 pounds. Um, dude, even if somebody bought that, dude, the shipping would have been $100. So, like, if I sold it for 100 and somebody bought it, they probably don't want to pay shipping another 100 bucks. They'll just probably buy it new at that point. So, yeah. I mean, it was the same thing with the Leon Lee 011 Dynamic I had. Shipping, again, was very expensive, so I just sold it locally but yeah that's pretty much it so here's the case mesh side panels I will probably link them uh, for whoever wants if, if you care enough but basically you know you just I mean, you can play with them if you want to look so these sides repel I mean you guys know how magnets work and here it is here is about 40 six four millimeter by three millimeter magnets and i i'm absolutely sure i'm not going to have enough t1s to use these but yeah um that's pretty much it is it attached to the top nope 
Is it attached to the sides? Nope. But it attaches to the magnet where I put the other magnets, so let's see if I can... Actually, no, the whole mesh side panel should attach to. I forgot what those toys were, where you can build like those roller coasters with the magnets. It was like the new version of Legos when I was a kid. Connects? I think it was something like that, right? Connects? Yeah. Alright. That's, that's pretty much it. Okay. Thank you, and bye-bye. Peace.